Merlin Entertainments, Ride Access Pass, Isabella Signs and her brother Lucas use sign language to ask the questions. Hi, I'm Isabella Signs here with my brother Lucas and we're here today to find out more about Merlin Ride Access Passes. So, what is a Ride Access Pass? A Merlin spokesperson answers their questions. For those of our guests who are unable to queue, either due to the nature of their condition or due to the ride infrastructure, we are pleased to offer a Ride Access Pass to make your queuing experience more comfortable. Merlin staff provide guests with access passes. A significant number of our guests use a Ride Access Pass on their visit, so it's important to know that it does not enable instant access to the ride or fast track. Ride access passes are offered as a reasonable adjustment to the experience so the magic of the ride can still be enjoyed. The ride access pass works by assigning you a virtual weight in replacement of standing in the physical queue line. A Merlin spokesperson explains where to collect ride access passes. On arrival, head to guest services or the ride access pass hub where available. Collect your Ride Access Pass card for the day, or for parks with digital Ride Access Passes, bring along a smart device and the team will assist you in setting up your pass. Guests use the attraction website to set up their Ride Access Passes. With your Ride Access Pass, go to your first ride. Before allowing access, the team member will scan your pass or mark your Ride Access Pass time card with a time on which you can enjoy your next ride. A Merlin staff member writes the times in which the guest can enjoy their next ride placing you in a virtual queue. Your next ride time is calculated by adding the queue duration of the ride you're about to experience to the time now. Animation of a clock showing the time calculation. A family enjoy one of the attractions. Enjoy your first ride, then you'll need to await until the time on the card or digital app says you can enjoy your second ride. This wait is virtual, so you don't need to stand in the queue. Once it gets to the time on the time card or app, then you can go to your second ride. At each ride, you'll need to show your time card and photo card. If using a written card, once your card is completed, simply return to guest services for a new card. Queues line up for the rides. A large number of our guests require a ride access pass, so at times the wait may be longer than other queue lines. Don't forget, remember to check the ride restrictions online before you arrive at the park so you know which rides you plan to experience. What else should I know about Ride Access Passes? Here are five fun facts that you should remember about the Ride Access Pass. One, organise in advance. For some attractions, you can organise your Ride Access Pass in advance by sending in your documentation, saving you time on the day of your visit. Remember to check the attraction website in advance for instructions. Two, bring documentation. Please remember to bring documentation to exchange on arrival to receive your Access Pass. Three, Different pass types. Different passes may be available for different access requirements, including carer passes. Please check the website for more details before you visit. Four, passes are not a fast track. Whilst accessing the ride using your pass, remember that all of our guests will be admitted to the rides as soon as we can. Please be patient with us so everyone can experience the magic safely. Five, terms and conditions. Please be aware that other terms and conditions may apply to the ride access pass for the attraction you are visiting. For the latest information and to prepare before your visit, please visit the attraction website beforehand. What should I do if I have questions about a ride access pass? Take a look at our webpage for more information and frequently asked questions. And if you aren't sure, please remember that our teams are here to help. We can't wait to see you soon. Mm -hmm.